Hello and welcome back. So today we are going to make some coconut flour jollof. So here are the ingredients we are going to need for our coconut flour jollof. Yes, coconut flour jollof. So in this bowl, I have um, coconut flour that I made some few days ago. I have a video that I will upload soon to show you the process in how I got this coconut flour to look like this. So. For the coconut flour jollof, you're gonna need um, some sauce, which I already had like um, some leftover sauce in the fridge. So that's what I'm going to use today. I don't have to like start everything from scratch. So this is basically just um, tomato sauce that I'm going to use. And then I will add in some veggies to my coconut flour jollof. Just the fact that I love veggies. You can do without the veggies though, but as long as you're trying to like live a healthy lifestyle, it's always good for you to incorporate some veggies into your daily meal. So I have some veggies already washed and finely chopped, some red bell pepper, yellow, green, um, carrots, um, some small amount of onion. And in this bowl, I have um, some um, shredded cabbage and then some shredded um, carrots. I will use that for a quick um, coleslaw and then a bit of um, light mayonnaise. So I will add some of the bell pepper and stuff from here into the coleslaw as well. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the coleslaw first and keep it in the fridge for some minutes before we start with the coconut flour jollof. So I'm going to pour in my shredded um, carrots and then the cabbage, it will go in. And then I'm going to add a bit of green bell pepper, some onions, red bell pepper, yellow, and then basically give it like a, a quick mix around. Just it's very simple to make the coleslaw. It takes ba like basically a few minutes to get the coleslaw ready. So in here, I'm going to add about two tablespoons full of um, light mayonnaise. Light, ma light mayonnaise will go in there. So just give it a quick stir. Feel free to add um, a bit more of the mayonnaise, but I don't want it like so much in this. So this is just perfect, like the way I want it to be. So that's it for the coleslaw. Very easy and very quick to make. So I'm just going to cover it and keep it in the fridge. And then we get started with the coconut flour. Okay, so we're just about to start with the coconut flour um, jollof. So I have a pan on. It's at a um, low to medium heat. So what we're going to start off is like, I'm going to scoop some of the, the tomato sauce. And I'm just going to put some of the, I'm going to put just a little bit to start with. So along the line, if I need a bit more, I will just add it to it. So basically, just stir it. Mm -hmm. it's already cooked so you don't have to like let it be on the stove for too long then I'm going to pour in the rest of my veggies so all the veggies will go in give it a quick mix I'm just going to leave it in the sauce for maybe about a minute or two for the veggies to get a bit soft but not like too 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 soft just soak up some of the sauce and then we'll come back and add the coconut flour and basically that will be it for the coconut flour jala so i'm just going to leave it on for a few minutes and then we'll be right back okay so it's been about a minute or two at this point i'm just going to add in this is about half cup of um coconut um flour so just mix it. I don't think I'm gonna need any more sauce because it's already looking 
beautiful so no more sauce will go in there no more sauce so I'm going to just leave it to cook for about a minute or two and then I'll turn off the heat okay so it's been like about a minute or two like three minutes tops so the coconut flour um, jollof is ready and then um the salmon and the shrimp which is also grilling in the oven is also ready if you want to know or see how i spice up my salmon or shrimp you can check one of my videos i showed everything step to step on how i get my salmon and then my shrimp season so now i'll just turn off the heat and then i'm just ready to dish it up so i will be back with the final presentation of this lovely and delicious meal yes so we're back with the final product that's our coconut flour jollof with a side of coleslaw and some spicy seasoned salmon and then shrimp kebab i know you're already loving what you're seeing so don't hesitate to give it a try and you're going to love it Thank you for always stopping by to watch my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like my videos, comment, and feel free to share all my videos with your friends. And don't forget to hit the notification button to get, um, to get updates once I upload new videos. Thank you and have a lovely day.